what the president was emphasizing was really on these joint military patrols in the area of the South China Sea, the disputed area. He said there will be none. This is not covered by any military uh, agreements or treaties with the Philippines. It is just that we don't want to engage in this type of provocative actions that will just heighten the tensions and prevent us from peacefully settling the dispute, for instance, with China. But we will certainly uh, respect all of our agreements, with, uh, especially with the United States, our treaty obligations, in so far as the defense of our uh, territory is concerned, where an attack on the Philippine territory, an attack on the public vessels of the Philippines will be considered an attack on U.S. territory and the U.S. public vessels and vice versa. This is a separate matter that is not covered under the uh, South China Sea disputes. So you make a distinction between the joint military patrols that the president then said uh, with other countries in so far as armed or military vessels are concerned in the South China Sea, which is says definitely we cannot get into this because this is not how we should settle our disputes in the South China Sea with China. No, he, he just simply said on the basis that the reality is now, though we will be strengthening our, our uh, relationship with Vietnam in so far as the claims of Vietnam in the South China Sea is concerned, we respect their claim, we respect their position in the same way that they respect our position as well. But we will not take sides in so far as the merits of their claims are concerned. We only have asserted and affirmed our respect for international law of the 1982 onclos in so far as the rule of law is concerned, in so far as the peaceful settlement of these disputes pursuant to the legal and diplomatic processes allowed under international law.